graduated. Since I'm an adult now, I don't have to hold myself back anymore, right? Manager, you fooling around on your laptop again? <laughs> Although it looks like that, I'm doing work, you know. My name is Keiichi Sato. I manage a coffee shop. <sighs> Cut it out with the crappy lame excuses and get to work, stupid manager. And this Gyaru snarling at me is Noah, who is a part-time worker and a student. She was a handful, but an honest girl. Well then, I'll go check the inventory. Have you finished cleaning, Noah-chan? I told you! I finished that already! That's why I came to monitor you to see if you're slacking off, manager. Let's see then... Hmm... It looks like you're doing a good job with the cleaning, but I think the way you're using the sponge is a little sloppy, don't you think? Huh? You care too much about the small, tiny details. No, no, it's these little details that add up. Then, you should stop fooling around on the laptop and get to work, manager. If you have a problem with it, why don't you clean it up yourself? Well, no, so I told you that I'm not fooling around. Oh, well. Be careful next time, okay? Okay, okay. I'll be careful so that you won't complain about it, even though I'm working hard. Noah-chan was always like this, and to say the least, she was an honest girl. But then one day... What is with your attitude towards your own customers? Huh? You're the one who misunderstood, you know. Uh, hey, hey, what happened here? Manager, this customer complained that his cake didn't come when he didn't even order it. No way! I certainly ordered the cake from her! It does seem like that we didn't receive any cake order from you, uh, but weren't you asking for a sanitizer early on, sir? Excuse me? It's true that the waitress brought it over here, but I didn't ask for that. Did you perhaps order a sponge cake, sir? Yes, I did. I see. Well, it seems like the sponge cake was being misheard as sanitizer. Sponge cake, sponge cake, sanitizer? Uh, uh, that's ridiculous! I'm terribly sorry for what had happened. I will bring out the sponge cake right away, sir. I would also like to serve you tea or coffee as our service for what had happened. Uh, which would you like, sir? Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's see. Then I'd like a tea. Yes, sir. I will bring it right away. Hey, wait! Just come. Hear it wrong? Okay, but let's just not try to get into fights with the customer. Ah, well, I'm the manager, so I'll just take the responsibility for my staff's mistakes, so don't worry about it so much, okay? What? Are you treating me like a kid? <laughs> well, you're the only student who is working as a part time at this restaurant, so I think that's pretty admirable. You're making fun of me, aren't you? There, there. Well, we're done with this talk now. If you have any problems, you can always rely on adults like me, okay? So, so stop treating me like a kid! That's how she'd be like, but perhaps because she experienced a mistake, she got more serious in her part-time job. As I was looking at how much effort she has been making, one day... Phew, I guess I'm almost done with today's clerical work. Manager... Today's customers who had come in all left now. Oh, thanks. Noah-chan, you can go home for today. What? But you still have some work to do, don't you? I don't think you've finished your work on your laptop yet. Well, yeah, but... I mean, it's not like I'm slacking off, okay? I know that. You're doing management work on your laptop, like handling the finance and the shift schedules and so on, right? You know so well. That's because I've been looking at what you've been doing. Huh? Anyways, who cares about that? You're still working on your laptop, and it's gonna take you a while, right? So, I'll close up the shop. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks. Noah-chan, you've matured, huh? Well then, alright. I'll just finish up here too. Like this, time had passed, and I finished my work at the same time as Noah-chan finished close up the shop. Well then, 
A good job today, too. Since it's late now, I'll take you home. Okay, thanks. Huh? Why do you look so surprised? Oh, well, I guess I expected you to say something like, don't do anything so annoying or stupid. Hmm, I see. So, you enjoy being treated like that, huh, manager? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> just kidding. I just thought it might be nice once in a while. I s see. It's unusual of you to smile like that, Noah-chan. Huh? You idiot! Don't look at me! Wah! Why do you get angry all of a sudden? You idiot! Look, come on then. We're going home. And But you're still okay with me taking you home, huh? And so, like this, I took Noah-chan home. Ugh, it's cold. And that's because you're wearing really thin clothes. It's almost winter, so why don't you wear long pants? You really don't understand the female mind, huh? It's common sense that fashion is much more important than the cold weather. What kind of common sense is that? I wouldn't want you to catch a cold because of it. It's fine. Bless you. See, I told you. No, I won't catch a cold. It's not that cold anyways. You were just saying that you were cold earlier. Here, this. Huh? Do you feel better? Y yeah but aren't you cold, manager? I'm alright. I've been training myself. Even though you're always on your laptop. Here, give me your hand. Hmm? See? Aren't you a little bit warm now? Y yeah but I'm surprised. I'm not a kid anymore, so don't get embarrassed because of this. Noah-chan's face as she said this was turning red, not because of how cold it was. Alright, thanks. No problem. It's special, okay? This is how we walked to her home together. After that, it became a routine for the two of us to close up the shop together. And naturally, afterwards, I would always take Noah-chan back home. This gradually became a habit. And then one day... Alright, I finished today's work too. I guess I should go see how Noah-chan and others are doing. Oh, manager, what's up? Since I finished a little early, I just came to check on you and everyone else, but... Oh, well, everything's fine here. And I'm just doing my job, you know? Really? Alright, well, I'll just help clean up. I already did that. Then I'll tidy up our inventory. That's already done too. When did you do all that? <laughs> it means that I'm maturing too. Noah-san, what shall I do with this again? Oh, that's... You've really matured, huh? I was more than a little surprised to see how Noah-chan was teaching other staff members about the job. Well then, since it's almost closing time, I guess I'll get to work on closing up the shop. Uh, okay. Don't work too hard though, okay? You're still a high school student. Even though I do my best, I'm still treated as a kid, huh? Hmm? Huh? Did you say something? It's... nothing! Oh, okay. Why did she get angry all of a sudden? I couldn't really realize how Noah-chan had a change in her mind back then. And a few more months passed by and it became February. Manager, let's go home soon. Yeah, sorry to make you wait. Oh, today is a lot more cold, huh? It seems like it's gonna snow, right? Well, it is February. I almost graduate too, you know. Oh, I see. It's that time of year already? You're going to quit your job here when you graduate high school, right? Well, yeah. I got a job, so of course. Duh. What? Are you sad? Oh Well, it's just that I thought I'd get busy when you'd quit, Noah-chan. Hmm, I see. I guess you still see me as just a part-time staff after all. Huh? It's nothing. Here is enough for today. Well, we're almost at your house, so I'll take you home. Stop treating me like a kid! Noah-chan! Stop! If you stop me like this here, I'd get my hopes up! 
I already knew that a grown man like you, manager, wouldn't even look at a high schooler like me. So, don't touch me anymore. Uh, Noah-chan! As if ignoring my voice calling for her, Noah-chan left me and ran away. I can still feel her arm in my hand. The next day... Here is your tea, sir. Oh, thank you. Despite what had happened, Noah-chan came the next day to do her job as if nothing had happened. Manager, since my time is up, I'm gonna go home for today. Uh, okay. Good job. Good job to you, too. Um, you know... Yes? Um, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse me... Noah-chan is still a high school student, so keeping this kind of distance is what's normal. One week until graduation, huh? That week seemed very long to me. And then came Noah-chan's graduation day. Alright then, I guess today's job is all finished. I'm getting pretty tired of closing up the shop all alone. But Noah-chan graduated and she'll be gone from tomorrow. In the shop all alone, I had finally realized that Noah-chan would be gone. Good evening. Noah-chan, why are you here? I finally graduated, you know. I'm an adult now, so I don't have to hold back anymore, right? Noah-chan! Ah! I hugged Noah-chan without thinking. Thank you so much for coming here. I'm so happy. Yeah. From now on, will you see me and treat me as a woman? Yeah. You're not just a part-time staff to me, Noah-chan. You are a very important woman to me. Manager! I'm so happy! So, you won't treat me like a kid anymore, okay? So we hugged each other tightly in the store, just the two of us. I gently patted Noah-chan's head as she cried out of happiness. <laughs> I thought you had already left, but I'm glad I came here quickly. I was just about to close up the shop. I'd love to stay like this forever, but it's getting pretty late, so I'll walk you home like I did before. Um, you know... Huh? Can I go to your place today instead of going back home? I want to spend as much time with you as possible. Really? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. So we headed over to my house while I held hands with Noah-chan. It was cold outside, but our hands were warm. Oh, this is where you live, huh? <laughs> if you look around a lot like that, I'm a little embarrassed. Mm, I see. What? Are you hiding something weird? N no, that's not what I meant. Really? Well, okay then. Oh. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Even though we just got back, if you're sleepy, you can go to sleep, okay? Okay. Then, I guess I'll do that. W whoa <laughs> <laughs> Let's sleep together like this, okay? It's cold outside, you know? If we hug tight like this, it's much warmer. <laughs> you like to have it your way, huh? Well then, good night, Noah. Yeah. Wow, I'm just so happy that I might not be able to sleep. We'll be always together from now on. So let's just call it a night. Good night. <laughs> good night. And so like that, Noah and I spent the night in the same bed. Since then, we have been spending the time a lot more together. And it was only natural for us to begin going out and deepen our relationship. And a few years later, Noah resigned from her job at the clothing company where she had worked since she graduated high school. And she began to support me as my wife while helping me out in the coffee shop. <laughs> I got a little more mature now, right? Yeah, you really helped me around a lot. I'm glad then. I'll get more and more matured, and one day, I'll be much more mature than you, cage son. No way, you'll never be older than me. Oh, come on. I know that. I was just saying that because that's how much I wanted to be, okay? And like this, we lived happily ever after together.
Thanks for watching until the end.